Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. You know, we've talked a lot about ratchet straps over the years, but we've never encountered one that's a sliding ratchet strap. What's that all about? Check it out. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Our friends at Ericsson Manufacturing sent us these ratchet straps to give an authentic review, and that's exactly what we're gonna do and tell you what we think about them. Well, so far, just looking in the packaging, there's a couple things that are really interesting. First of all, this is called a sliding ratchet with the promise that you can move the ratchet securement device or the ratchet head where you need it back and forth a limited distance, but enough that you can get it out of the way of things like on the edge of the load, too close to the side of the bed of the truck where you can't open the handle and that sort of thing. So we're gonna look at that feature. The other thing we like about this is just some of the way the handles are formed and there's a little feature I'm just gonna tell you about that helps you to keep the hooks in place when the uh, strap is not tightened yet so it doesn't fall off the side of the load before you can get it tension and we'll look at that in a moment. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open and we'll let you know how it works. All right, we've gone ahead and set up a mock load uh, for your trailer or the back of your pickup truck or perhaps you're securing uh, an off-road vehicle or motorcycle, and the edges of the table represent uh, the attachment points uh, on your uh, trailer setup. And as you can see with this one inch strap, we've gone over the top of this load and we put it over here. Now a couple things to mention. Uh, we were able to move the head, this ratchet head right here, anywhere we wanted along the length of this load. So we'll show you how we got there. And then also one of the features is, is that you're able to take the excess strap with this integrated two-sided Velcro system to secure that in strap so you don't have strap trailing down behind you or getting caught in the drivetrain or getting snapped off under tires. The job is not done until that tail end is secured as well. Now one other thing you wanna notice on these and that is what they call the caps on the end of these hooks here. So they have these little devices so that when you hook this around on a hook on the side and you let tension come off it, they tend always to drop off like that. Whereas if the cap is there and you have an attachment point like that, it's gonna land like that and not drop off until you can get it uh, tightened. So this is a nice little feature. Like anything that's plastic like that, it's gonna last a lot longer if you keep it out of the weather. And you should do that anyway with all your straps is to keep them secured, stowed very well, and keep them dry and out of the sunlight, uh, just so you don't get degradation on the strap, all the parts, and all that. So just take good care of your gear and it'll take care of you. Now, how did we get this from that? And by the way, notice one thing that's very different about this strap than any other strap system you've probably encountered at this point. It's all one piece. Normally, you're gonna get one end that has the ratchet head, a short tail here, uh, and then you end up threading the other working end through it and, and uh, going ahead and secure it. Well, because of that sliding feature we just talked about, of being able to position this head anywhere you want it, it's all put together in one step. And let's walk you through how you set this up and secure it. And we'll just, uh, we'll imitate or follow the pattern we've already done. Here we go. What we're gonna do is go ahead and attach this. And of course, if that was a D-ring or a hook side, you'd use that cap lock to hold that there. So even if it got loose, it wouldn't fall off. Now we're gonna come up here, we're gonna pull off this right here to allow this to open and come into the neutral position. So now we've got it to this position here, and this is the magic feature on this unit. So what you're gonna do is take this, and you're gonna pop it up and move it from the lock position to the adjust position. And this is what allows you to move this whole ratchet head. And in this case, let's suppose that this is the side of the bed of my truck, I'm reaching around, there's pipes, there's other things there or something where I don't want the ratchet here. I want it over where it's clear. So how do we move the ratchet there? Well, how we do that is by pulling this up and moving the ratchet where you need it 
into position. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll come around there like I'm moving to the other side of my truck. Now that I've got this where I want, I'm gonna go ahead and move this back into position, put it, latch it there, grab the strap, hold down that position here, go ahead and close this and start your tightening. Now you've got where you want, and now this excess strap on the other side, this loop, all you need to do is pile it up on top of the ratchet body right there. Now let's go ahead and tighten that around. It's two-sided Velcro. There you are, and now you are secure. Now, I will tell you a couple things on this. Overall, it seems well made. The strapping's nice. The body of the ratchet device is reasonably uh, heavy duty. Um, using that loop and sliding up down is not intuitive at the beginning. You'll actually have to become familiar with it. But if this is a feature that's important to you of being able to position where the ratchet head is, getting the learning curve behind you is well worth it. And our initial impressions are pretty favorable about the design, the construction, and what they're doing to solve the issues of losing the hook off the end, stowing the loop at the end so you don't have an accident on the road with excess tail going down under the tires and the drivetrain, all that sort of thing is very favorable. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to you a year from now. We've got some of these in the field with some construction friends where we're having them try these and we'll come back and tell you what our experience has been about one year from now after these have been out in the environment being used ongoing and we'll see what kind of feedback we have for you at that time. As we just mentioned, this particular product has the securement feature here where you can take the excess strap and secure it on the body of the ratchet here. But the fact of the matter is most ratchet systems do not have that. So check out this video where we show you how to safely and securely get this strap taken care of because the job of securing the load is not done until the tail is secured as well. And while you're at it, check out this other video that we created for you out of our library that YouTube thinks is perfect for your interest. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from dirtfarmerjay.com.